Okay, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to work with key plans inside of Revit. Uh, if I switch over to a plan view here, and let me make sure I pull up the right one here, I'll just make switch out the title block, this one right here, and this is our objective, is to basically create some sort of key plan like this, where when you select it, uh, you select the title block, you can turn off the part of the plan that you don't want to see and highlight essentially what you do in order to indicate, yeah, this is where we're at in the building. Again, simple key plan concept. Um, the approach we're going to take is the simpler approach where we bring the key plan information directly into the title block rather than using a nested generic annotation family, which would always also work. So if you want to go that route, it's that's fine. You would just basically use a gen generic annotation Revit family template, bring the CAD information there instead, and work with it, but uh, instead of directly into the title block like we're going to show you in this particular video. Okay, so that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I'll just put this back to where it was, our original title block, without the key plan. We're going to modify this title block, but before we do that, what I want to do here is I'll go to the level one plan view where I've got a good outline of the building and we're going to export this out as a CAD plan. So I'm going to go to Revit uh, application menu here, export CAD formats, DWG, hit next here and we'll just call this key plan and click OK and basically export that out. Now the reason why we did that instead of tracing over the outline of uh, the building with maybe drafting lines and then pasting that into some other views is that because well, Revit will essentially give us an error message that, that copying and pasting those drafting or detail lines between different views um, is not acceptable. So uh, especially between a sheet and uh, our, our model here. So this is why we need to export out this CAD uh, drawing. So I'll open this up here and there it is there's my key plan okay now this obviously I kept this very very simple but in your situation you will probably want to do some cleanup I'll just do some cleanup just to kind of illustrate what you may have to do you know get rid of some of these interior lines if that's desired and we'll just go ahead and get rid of that and that try to do this as quickly as possible my CAD skills are a little rusty. I used to do this all the time. Okay, and there we go. We'll go ahead and Q save that. So there's our key plan DWG. Next step, close this down. Go back into Revit, but in this case we're going to go to the sheet. So let's find our sheet that we need to edit, add that key plan to. So I'm going to select the title block family. I'll edit the family and we will go to the insert tab and import CAD. Select the key plan and again choose your colors as desired. I'll do black and white here and uh, we'll just do the auto to auto origin. It's going to come in really big Okay, and we'll just do a zoom to fit to show it here. We'll unpin uh, it so that way we can edit it and we'll scale it uh, I say by a, gra by a numerical scale of a thousand and again choose what makes sense for you but we'll just scale it from there and move this to the appropriate spot in the title block okay there it is and add text as needed to describe the title block I'll just do that uh, create some text we'll choose eighth inch text and we'll call this uppercase key plan key plan and move that to where it needs to be. Okay, so here's the real <laughs> key part of the key plan development is uh, we need to uh, create filled regions that are tied to visibility parameters that can be turned on and off in the project environment. So to do so, I'll go to the create tab, filled region, I will draw a filled region and I just want to look at the type properties. I'm going to use solid fill here. And I'll place this right here. And then I'll go ahead and finish it up here by applying the uh, the finished edit, uh, finish edit mode. So we've created the filled region. What we need to do now is we need to associate this with a uh, family parameter. And since this is area A, we'll 
create a visibility parameter. We're associating the visibility of this filled region with a family parameter called area A. And it wants to be an instance parameter for the most part, unless you're going to use types, different types of title blocks. But I think instance is more appropriate for the most part, so I'll do that. Click OK. And we have that uh, filled region. We're going to use solid black just so it kind of you can see it a little bit better. And now we'll go back here, do another filled region. And we use the same tool, draw that. And while we're in sketch mode, we can do the same thing here. We don't have to necessarily wait and finish it. I'll do uh, add another parameter called area B. Again, make it an instance parameter. Click OK. Click OK here. Finish it up. And basically, we've got our uh, two filled regions that will indicate uh, for key plan. OK, let's load this into the project. We'll overwrite the existing version parameter pro uh, and its parameter values. And so there, there it is. Now, you know, obviously both areas are on, and there might be times where you want both areas on because you're showing maybe an overall plan at a at a at a you know larger scale. But since we're showing floor plan area A, I want to show the key, area A part of the key plan. So I'll select the title block anywhere in the title block because this is now a title block property. And when I do, you'll see that there are a couple parameters called area A and area B. And I will in this case go ahead and select. Uh, Leave, turn off area B, leave on area A, and there we go. And now that's clearly the part of the building that we're uh, interested in. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, there is a more uh, lengthy route to get to the same place where you would use a generic annotative family, and there might be some advantages of doing it that way, but um, you know, this is the more direct route, if you want to put it that way.